we're talking all about Tron Light Cycle Run and everything that we got to experience. But I also got to chat with Melissa Valiquette, and she's the vice president of Match Kingdom Park. But she shared some of her favorite Disney thrills, and she shared what Tron Light Cycle Run means to her. So let's check out that interview. Melissa, thank you so much for being here with us today. We're thank so excited to have you. Awesome, thank you for having me. I know, you are very busy, <laughs> but I just wanna ask you a few questions. Is that gonna be okay? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your career with Disney? Sure, you know, I started with Disney in 1995, almost 28 years ago. My very first job with the company was right here at the Magic Kingdom. I was a hostess in City Hall, straight out of college. Oh. And uh, you know, what a neat start that was to my career, right on Main Street, USA. Um, I was also fortunate in 1997 to represent our company as a Walt Disney World ambassador. Wow. And that happened to be the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World. So some of our guests might remember that's when we decorated the castle as a birthday cake. Yes. Pretty neat time. Then fast forward 25 years, and I'm so honored to be back here at the Magic Kingdom and leading the park this time. Um, you know, to be here for the 50th anniversary was also such a special milestone. Our guests have had such a wonderful experience. And then today to look forward and to be here in front of our beautiful new roller coaster, Tron Light Cycle Run, it's like really writing the next chapter of this Magic Kingdom story. I'm so honored to be here. Yes, and I cannot wait for everyone to experience it. But I have another question for you. Now, what has been your favorite part of being a cast member? Gosh, my favorite part of being a cast member is, without a doubt, the people. You know, our cast members, Disney cast members, are a special sort of people. They are, they are Disney fans, yes. first and foremost. The majority of our Disney cast come here because they visited as a child, they felt this special kinship, and they loved the way this place and these people made them feel, and they want to turn around and do that for others. And so, you know, people who like to make magic for a living, those are my kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> so I just love the people I meet here. And really that extends to our guests as well. You know, our guests are such wonderful people and so appreciative of the magic they receive here with us too. So it just makes for a wonderful experience with uh, great people. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, another question. Tell us more about Disney Thrills. Disney Thrills. Well, we are celebrating Disney Thrills right now and it's really about figuring out what thrills each one of us, right? Every member of the family. And so the obvious thrill would be, some people are thrilled by a roller coaster, Tron Light Cycle Run. But you know, just as much, some people are thrilled by the idea of meeting Mickey and Minnie live and in person for the first time ever. Um, some people are thrilled by, you know, seeing these things that bring the movies to life for them. Um, you know, let's not forget, we have the Millennium Falcon at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yes. And for some people, my kind of people, <laughs> the thrill for them is the food oh. at Walt Disney World. And you know, whether that food is a Dole Whip or a churro at the Magic Kingdom or a, a five diamond restaurant somewhere around our property, or really exciting, our newest restaurant at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Mm -hmm. These people are in for a thrill. Absolutely. Now, you and I are the same people because yes. food thrills me as well. Awesome. So I'm very excited about a new place for me to get a new snack and meal. So that's going to be super exciting. All right. I have another question okay. for you. Now, you mentioned that you've been here for almost 28 years, yes. right? Are there still things that thrill you? Gosh, you know, one of the things that really thrills me is seeing this park um, at the beginning of the day just as our first guests are coming in the door and Cinderella Castle is so beautiful. Yes. And then seeing it again at the end of the night um, as everyone has you know, made their memories for the day and it's quiet and our last guests are walking out of the park and the castle is glistening. That is pretty amazing. Yes. Um, pretty amazing. Now I have to say though, as, a, as another thrill, having ridden Tron Light Cycle Run so many times over the last couple of months as we've been preparing to open for our guests, I'm a pro now, like Team Blue all the way. Okay. We're winning it. There's no thrill quite like uh, Tron Light Cycle That's Run true. thrill. <laughs> I have to hold on to my earrings because I'm afraid they'll fly off. It's so thrilling. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. And like hold your face in yes, a specific exactly. position. Oh, it's just so great. Okay. Exactly. I have another question for you. Now, yes. 
I'm gonna put you on the spot. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. What is your number one tip for visiting Walt Disney World? Good question. Well, first, we should always consult the Plan Disney panelists. Of course. Because you guys do such a terrific job of delivering great advice to our guests. But you know, once you've done that and you've made your plan and you arrive with your family, I would just recommend that our guests take it all in, slow down just a bit. You know, take in the landscapes, the beautiful flowers, the horticulture our team spends so much time on. Listen to the music around you. The background music in each land is unique. Taste some of the foods, really take in the experiences. You know, the rides are gonna happen, the attractions, the restaurants, all of those things are an important part of the experience. But there are so many small details that really can bring this park to life for our guests. And sometimes they go unnoticed. Yes, that's so true. Oh gosh, okay. Now, what about you, Amira? We talked about thrills. What thrills you? Oh goodness. Well, I am a thrill attraction junkie. So, okay. Tron Light Cycle Run. I've been waiting and waiting for it, anticipating, awesome. and it is definitely so good. Mm -hmm. uh, but my favorite thrill ride of all time actually is right next door, Space Mountain Space at Walt Mountain. Disney World. My favorite of all time. Love it. Yes. Love it. Oh Love my it. gosh. Good okay. choice. It is. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I stand in my choice. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> I have one last question for okay. you before we have to let you go. Now, what is the best way to capture the magic of Disney parks? You know, when our guests come into Disney parks, you know, obviously they take a million photos in these parks. And I make it my mission, as do many of our cast members. If we see a family taking photos or a group taking photos and one person is out of the photo, we always, you know, we train our cast. Go make sure you offer like, hey, dad, you want to get in the photo? I'll, I'll take it for you. I'm a pro. But when we're not around, the people who are around are our Disney PhotoPass photographers. And these are truly talented photographers, many of whom are, are accomplished photographers outside of their Disney work life. And they take astounding pictures in our parks from the best locations. And you know, there's really terrific options. Uh, you can even purchase a capture your magic uh, session where yes. I guess you know, a family can come in and do a private session with a photographer. So I, I think that's a pretty great way to, to uh, commemorate your visit. Oh, that is perfect way to wrap up this wonderful awesome. interview. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. <laughs>